Russia half emptied the largest warehouse of Soviet armored vehicles. During the war in Ukraine, more than 40% of old Soviet tanks and armored personnel carriers were removed from storage at the largest known base of mothballed military equipment of Vagzanovo in Beryatia, according to last satellite images from Google Earth. The fact that the Vagzanovo base in Beryatia is the largest in Russia is evidenced by the Moscow Times calculations based on Google Earth data. Vagzanova is located near Ulan Ude and occupies about 13 square kilometers, which is much larger than the area of two dozen other well-known military equipment storage bases in Russia. Five months before the full-scale war in Ukraine, in September 2021, about 3,840 armored vehicles were stored in Vagzanovo under the open sky, the Moscow Times calculated based on Google Earth images. After eight months of the war, in November 2022, about 2,600 armored vehicles remained at the base, and by May 2023, about 2,270. Thus, during the time, 1,570 or 40.8% of armored vehicles were removed from the base. Moreover, most of them, 32%, left after the announcement of mobilization at the end of 2022. In Vagzanovo, equipment was stored mainly in the open. The November 2022 images show that about half of the vehicles were without turrets or had other traces of damage visible from the satellite. Similar signs can be observed in about half of the equipment remaining at the base by May 2023. The base also has 10 hangars, which, according to the Moscow Times, can accommodate up to 400 armored vehicles. The Moscow Times found several large pictures of the tanks stored there on the social networks of former servicemen of the Vagzanovo base. Interviewed military experts identified them as T-62 tanks, which were produced in the USSR from 1962 to 1975. Before the war in Ukraine, Russia regularly disposed of obsolete armored vehicles. From 2014 to 2022, 35 contracts were signed for 232.2 million rubles. The number of contracts for the destruction of tanks began to decline in 2017. Then the head of the main armored department of the Ministry of Defense, General Alexander Shevchenko, said that instead of the previously planned 10,000 tanks, only 4,000 would be destroyed. The rest may come in handy. In connection with the change in the international situation, the general said, in 2022, the Ministry of Defense stopped entering into contracts for the disposal of military equipment. After statements by President Vladimir Putin that some samples of old Soviet equipment are still superior to Western weapons, reports began to appear in the media about the reopening of old Soviet equipment. So, in October 2022, 103 armored personnel carriers near Chita received an order to modernize 800 T-62 tanks. There, the tanks undergo a deep modernization. They are equipped with additional protection, more modern engines, as well as an opto-electronic system and thermal images. Defense Minister Shoigu regularly visits enterprises that repair and modernize equipment removed from conservation.